In this video I want to show you an interesting tool called Drag on Tape. Drag on Tape makes it possible to combine multiple YouTube videos into one long video. They call them mixtapes. Not only can you combine the videos, but you can also trim them. Trim the beginning, trim the end of the video. You could even work at it and trim out the middle of the video um, if you prefer. Let's take a look at how you would use Drag on Tape. I've signed in to my free account and I can just click here and do a YouTube search for a video. It searches YouTube and finds some results. Notice that some of the YouTube videos that it finds are restricted. This one here with a lightning bolt on it probably will not work for me. Let's say I'm interested in using this video. I can just click on it and drag it down onto my timeline. Now in Drag on Tape, they call the timeline the tape. And the analogy here is they're comparing it to mixtapes that used to be made in the 80s uh, on cassettes that people would give to each other, mixtapes of their favorite songs or things like that. So I've added a video to my tape. It's important that you have a video at the zero minute mark, and you can see that I do. Next, if I'm not familiar with this video, I should probably watch it, and I can do that by clicking the play button or spacebar. The video plays in preview form in the upper left corner. Now let's say that I want to trim out the beginning of that video. I can do it by clicking on the video on the mixtape timeline and choosing the pair of scissors icon that appears. So I click on it and it gives me two handles to work with. Here in the upper left corner of the video I can click and drag on that handle to trim out the beginning of the video and in the lower right corner of the video I can also use this handle to trim out the end of the video. When I'm satisfied with the results I can click this check mark and the trims take effect. Now I can search for a second video. I can choose a second video and click and drag and drop it on the timeline. Notice that it automatically placed it at the end of my first video. Now if I want to make some edits to the second video if I need to I can click on the tape and drag and that's why they call this website drag on tape and I can just drag it to the place where I want to edit the video and again if I'm not familiar with this video I really should watch it in Corrupt preview form. Helping us, which would lead to their own revolution as thanks we named our most important food after them. And then I can make my my edits by clicking again the scissors. If you change your mind and want to just remove a video clip you can put your mouse on the video and choose the X that appears. So I could just continue this process searching for more videos related to to the content that I want to teach or that that I want to present. Dragging the results onto the screen and then trimming the beginning or end of the video clips. There are a few other options that you should be aware of. Most of them are found down here at the bottom. For example, I will need to title this tape and you can see that there are some buttons here that have some additional options. I could add a fade time. By clicking on the zero seconds, it changes it to be five seconds. Now each video will fade in for five seconds and fade out at the end for five seconds. And you can change that to be longer just by clicking. It can be 10 seconds. And if you keep clicking, it'll cycle back to zero seconds. There's a tape settings button. Click on it to make it a public drag on tape that will be shown in the, in the gallery. You can also choose your tape cover and you can choose to unlock your tape so that other people can help you finish it. Now if you wanted to, instead of adding more videos, you could search for music or other sounds. If you click on the arrow here in the search bar, you can switch it from YouTube to SoundCloud. And I could search SoundCloud for music. Unfortunately, the music that you find on SoundCloud will not play in the background of your Dragon Tape videos. Instead, it occupies its own space. So let's watch what would happen if I have a song between my two clips. And our sacred honor. As soon as the playhead reaches the song, the video stops. When you're finished with your drag on tape, you can choose to share your tape in a variety of ways. You can click this share your tape button. It gives you a direct link to your drag on tape, or you could also use this embed code to embed your drag on tape right onto your own website. And then if you use Twitter, Facebook, Delicious, or Buzz, you can very easily post your drag on tape to one of those services just with a click. So drag on tape is an intriguing way to create mashups and these could be educational mashups or they could just be for fun. I've heard of DJs using drag on tape to make video playlists 
when they're DJing, and you can create drag-on tapes that are hours and hours in length. It's very generous. The website is very generous with the amount of time your videos can take up. So have fun with drag-on tape creating video playlists or mashups.